What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here. I'm here bringing you guys a little bit of a different idea. Now, um, I know that some of you have probably asked me in the past, you know, what phone do you use and what do you use it with? Well, uh, this video is actually geared directly for you. Um, I actually use the Google Nexus 4, which is a great phone, you know, the raw Android OS and the um, just the great price tag in general. But we are actually going to look specifically onto what software is on my Nexus 4. So um, this video is going to be somewhat on the techie side, but at the same time, it should give you guys some introspect. You know, I mean, I don't know how many of you would be interested, but we're basically going to look into what is on my phone for July 2013. Well, now, taking a look at the phone, of course, it's a sexy build. Like, naturally, the Nexus 4 is a really good phone. And um, as you can see here, I have a wrist strap for it as well, just to be able to protect it from any falls and slips, things like that. And on top of it all, I also have the, um, the bumper case for it, which is really good for protecting the phone. Like, if you see, like, it fits on really, really well. It's easy to manage. So, you know, it's a really good protector for the phone. I've dropped it multiple times, and it all still works really well. Don't mind my fingerprints. Anyways, um, so let's actually turn it on and see what's going on in the inside. So first off, you'll see this ugly ass lock screen that I really don't like, but I have to deal with for now. And um, when we remove the lock screen, you're going to see that even though this is an Android device, I'm actually running, you know, uh, a Windows 8 skin with my Android. And some of you may actually think this is kind of weird, but um, I actually like it. You know, there's one thing about Windows 8 that I really dig. It's the live tiles. Now, I love how those look and the, the visual interface of them. They are somewhat limited in terms of things you can do with them, but I do love them. And as you can see here, I have like on my home screen, the apps that I use the most. You know, you see you got your YouTube up there, Voice, which is what my, I use. I use Google Voice with my um, Groove IP for a free phone service with Google. And... Um, also, you can see here I've got, you know, a gallery of just random photographs that I've taken that I thought were really, really pretty. And um, also, let me just get the focus correct. And also, you know, I have the Android App Store right there, so I can just go to the App Store normally from my home screen, which is Windows 8. So um, it's basically a launcher, which I took off the App Store, which is really, really cool, you know. So um, also, you see I have Chrome right there, my email bar, just to be able to answer anything, um, you know, standard stuff. It still is... Um, it still is the um, the raw Android 4.2, but this skin is really, really cool. So um, as you can see, I also have a music player. The great thing about this is that you can kind of add uh, widgets to the home screen, even though it is Windows 8, basically by just going to a menu, which is right here, and then going to add, add widgets. And say, for example, I wanted to add a widget like, um, let's see, uh, like Google Currents, right? Boom, right there is my widget, Google Currents right there. So you see, it's a really useful, handy application there. You know, it's a really nice for the, um, really nice that they added that in for it. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I like. I mean, some of you don't like, when most likely a lot of you don't like the Windows 8 interface, but I love it to be quite honest with you. The only thing I don't like with Windows 8 is the limits that it comes with as well, but I do like the visuals of it. So anyways, um, we're actually going to go a little bit deeper. As you can see here, I also love the varying sizes of the tiles, you know, stuff that I find more important, I make bigger and such. So um, yeah, anyways, basically you guys have seen that. So let's go into some of the software that I actually have on my phone. Um, first off, let's go look at all my apps. So anal lock, is that anal likes lock screen <laughs> yeah anal lock screen is basically the um the windows 8 app that comes with this the launcher and um the lock screen that i use with it is anal lock screen but i hate it so i'm going to find a way to change it eventually next off you have a barcode scanner which is really really good for identifying items in stores and such really useful you know i don't really use it too much but it's all right it's all right next off we have my battle net authentic authenticate authenticator i cannot believe i just struggled with that word but yeah the battle.net authenticator which is really good for um world of warcraft because it basically lets you log in really safely i do play world of warcraft very very casually you know i play once maybe every like four days so nothing too serious don't think that's going to be something hardcore next off the calculator calendar camera chrome clock color note and currents now the only thing that i think is worth mentioning here or explaining is color note color note is a great 
great app, which is um, something that is, I use for organization of my Ethical World Network stuff all the time, like stuff that I want to buy, stuff, you know, the agenda for the Ethical World Network, stuff that I'm supposed to do for the channel. I put it all in this app. Oh, you guys are seeing spoilers. Don't need to do that. And, um, <laughs> and uh, it's really just great, you know. In fact, if we go to my home screen real quick, you'll see that these little um, notepad apps that I have here are actually stuff that I um, have planned in terms of Ethical World Network stuff, stuff that I need to buy, stuff that I need to do. It's really, really useful. So Color Note is definitely a great app. Next off, we have um, Google Currents, which is the news app that I used to use, but I don't really use it anymore because uh, the interface, you can't really customize it with articles that you want to read. And I never really used it too much anyways, even though I did like the um, visuals of Google Currents. Next, we're going to you know, download standard stuff, Google Earth, stuff that you all know. Facebook, of course, why not? File, mess file Manager is actually just something which I can use to go through the files that I have on my phone without it being rooted or anything like that, so kind of useful there. The phone isn't rooted yet at all, actually, but I do plan on doing something like that in the very near future. Next off, we have the gallery, which is, you know, standard gallery. You guys know what the gallery is. Um, Gmail, Google, Google Settings, Google Plus, and Groove IP. Now, Groove IP is the app that I use to get free phone service on my phone. You can only do it if you have Android because Android has a lot of apps that are just really flexible. So I'm actually able to get free phone service with Groove IP right here. Now, if you'll notice something, when I pull down the screen here, you'll see that, um, oh, whoops, just got rid of all my notifications. Great. But um, you'll see when I pull the phone down here that um, currently you'll see it says only emergency calls. And it's the reason why it says that is because I do not have a SIM card in installed on my phone but I'm still able to use any phone service at all and have my own phone number as well. So if you guys wanna know how I get free phone service on my Android, I'll make an instructional video. Just let me know in the comment section that you wanna see that and I'll show you guys. It's a really great method. I use it to avoid phone companies. I don't have a SIM card installed at all on my Android to be quite honest with you. I mean, um, that's why it says emergency calls only. But um, I can make phone calls from Groove IP with no problem whatsoever. Everything's great. Everything works properly. Same phone number, everything, so it's all good. Next up, Instagram, you know, I don't really use it. My girlfriend uses it, so that's the only reason why it's here. And I bet if we go on this, we'll see stuff from my girlfriend. Well, I don't know if my girlfriend's into that kind of stuff, but okay. Uh, yeah, she's still logged in here. So yeah, this is my girlfriend's Instagram. Um, but we are going to leave this now. And um, next thing, Kids Doodle. She also installed this where basically we can just play with stuff here with like painting and everything. It's kind of fun pastime when we're on the train and we don't have anything to do. Next off, um, what? It quits. I don't want to rate that. Next off, Launcher 8. Now, this is the app that I used for my home screen right here. So, um, yeah, this is the one. If you want to know what app I use to get my home screen looking like Windows 8, then it's called Launcher 8. So, um, yeah, check that out if you're interested. Next off, um, the local, I don't know what the fuck that is, Maps, Messaging, Messenger, Messenger, Facebook Messenger is a great app. You know, I, at first I was skeptical about it, but it is really a great app, and it's one definitely worth being on my phone. Next off, you have Minecraft. Of course, why the fuck else will we not have Minecraft on this thing? Great game, you know, Minecraft Pocket Edition has definitely come a long way. Um, it could definitely use some more improvements, but overall the game is great. You know, I have a lot of fun playing this thing. Uh, yeah, my world is actually very, very... I, I didn't do anything yet with this world, but um, yeah, you guys get the point. Next off, um, okay, let me just get the focus back. Okay, so next off, we have a movie studio, which is just some editing app that Google throws in there that I've never used in the day of my life, but I have a computer. Why would I want that? Next off, navigation, news, and weather. Stuff that Google comes with naturally. People, phone, which I don't use because I have free phone service. Next off, um, playbooks. Play magazines, Google Play stuff, you know, stuff that naturally comes with it. Play music. I actually use the default music listener on this. I used to use Power Amp on my previous devices, but Power Amp is kind of outdated. Um, next off, we have on the settings tab, the talk tab, Google Talk. It comes with the Google phones naturally. And um, we have Google Wallet, which is so great. So great. Google Wallet is just a wonderful app, which I can use with NFC to be able to pay for anything that I want with my phone just by tapping it. So it's a really great app for that kind of stuff. Definitely, um, I definitely suggest that app to you guys if you do have an Android device because it, it just works so well. Um, let me get, I'm not going to put my pin in there for you guys, obviously, but um, let's see. What else is there to show you guys? Um, let me just fix this focus here. There we go.
All right then, next off we have um, Wi-Fi Transfer Pro, which is an app that I use to wirelessly sync my phone to my computer. But there's apps that do this for free and I paid like $5 for this, so I feel really gypped. Next off, finally YouTube, which is wonderfully sexy on Android devices right now. And it's a great way to watch videos. I just wish you had a better way to manage your own videos, but eh, you can't ask for everything. Next, uh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's okay, you know? I think the YouTube app is really great. You know, I just wish it had more uploader friendliness, but it's all good. Um, Vsauce is a great channel. So that's basically the gist of it. My phone doesn't really have too much in terms of customizations, but um, the apps that I do show you, I don't really like too much on my phone. That's why I also got the Nexus 4, because it doesn't come with a lot of clutter that a lot of other companies like to put on phones. But um, you guys have basically seen what is on my Android phone, or rather what is just on my phone, period. Um, so if you have any other questions that you guys want to ask, you can definitely ask them. I'll be sure to answer them. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. And remember, if you want to find out how to get free phone service on your Android device, let me know and I'll make a video probably in a few days like explaining how I did that. But yeah, and that's basically just a bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks once again. Etika from the Etika World Network signing off. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.